Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to this Cossacks 3 video in which I'm just doing a normal team game. There is me as Austria, then there's the enemies I'm showing you right now. I have a Russian ally um, and my two enemies, I can't remember who they were. Um, yeah, so by the way, this is not the normal speed that I am moving at. That would just be too brilliant if I was moving at this speed. No, it's double. I just doubled the speed of the video basically. Um, to get on with it because um, yeah just seems better to do one like this if you want a normal speed cross x video then I have loads more on my channel there's other YouTube with other youtubers with them all around so yeah I just thought try something different and have a slightly faster game you can see me in the top left corner of the minimap I am um, think I'm red um, this is, by the way, on very hard difficulty. My ally is the orange one in the top right, and I have two enemies in the bottom left and the top eh, bottom right. It's a Mediterranean map, but the sea is not used at all, I don't think, so it's all just land battle. I, yep, the balloon is constantly on, so I can see what's going on. Yeah, that does make sense, just had to check in. And I'm starting off with a two barrack start, two town halls, and a windmill. Basic start, there's other buildings of course added, such as a cathedral in, a market, storehouse, and mines, but that's the main um, starting theme that I almost always go for with these thousands of resources. So, just looking around, what, deciding what to buy. Um, I do eventually get my academy up. However, I've found um, the academy it seems a bit to take a bit longer to no sorry a bit quicker to build than in Cossacks Back to War. Don't know if that's true. It's just what it feels like. Seems to be a bit faster, but I could of course be wrong with that. And I like that little road there. Could use some of those areas for our strategic military actions, but I haven't really seen the hills and things like that being used yet. Hopefully, however, we'll see some eventually. Also, I need to build a wall. I haven't built a single wall yet in Cossacks 3, so... Yeah, have to get round to that. Just having to change it to fast mode. I was running far too slow for me. Build that market. And... Ah, build the academy now. Yep, market's built, and get them to do some farming. Can't remember if I build a stables, I think I do, but I, I might not. Got a decent sized army coming out here. Very impressed with the army. Yeah, this is definitely a very good start. Filling up these mines. Gold is of course the most important. Iron is the second most important, basically because your pikemen require iron. And then coal is the least important resource of all, but if you start training musketeers and in the late game, it could quite easily become the most important as well. Um, because food, gold, you have a decent level of it by then. Wood and stone, decent level as well. So, yeah, coal becomes really important in the more late game rather than this early initial setup. So, food stocks are running short now, send a lot of peasants over there. I don't know if I like that flashing red thing can be a bit of a distraction at times but yeah it helps the graphics on this game are amazing I need to do a review on this game I was waiting until all the patches have come out first for um, well not all the patches but most of the little bug fixes they I think most of them are possibly out now they're still few problems with the game that I've noticed, um, like glitching balloons, um, just lots of other things as well. Actually I only saw the glitching balloon once but I saw it so I'm counting it as fair. Now you see the first battle now, I've got very well trained pikemen also in a formation as well. This is their formation, just completely slaughter these enemies and I march down for my enemy. Hopefully, well, yeah, by the looks of things, I'm going to take blue out quite easily. It's just going to be light blue then who is the problem at the end. So get these stone things researched, get extra stone, get extra wood. 
and it's very good to trade those in for gold and food to get those extra technologies. That's what I use wood and stone for. Of course it's used to build buildings but mostly I use it to trade it by using the market. Always very helpful. And you can see now my food and gold just shot right up then when I traded it in and I can now get those extra technologies. It's better than just wasting the wood and the stone resources on something else. Yep, there it goes my cathedral. Do like the Austrian cathedral, it's good design. They've done a good job of this game. The, the boost and the lagging, well it's more the lagging that's been the problem for me. That is not fully solved yet, but it is much better. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy about that. Um, marching into the city now. Um, there's still a bit of a problem, usually I can play about 4 players at most, when I get to 5 then things start to get a bit difficult, um, which is a shame, but at least I can get 4 players in, hopefully they do make some improvement, but I don't really think they can do any more. And I've got a decent laptop as well, so it's not my laptop that's the problem, it's just I think the game can run many much more complex games much easier. They make re really strange sounds from the day. So yep, slaughtering straight through them there, I've hardly lost a soldier. Burn buildings as I go, I don't want them to come back to life or anything like that. Better to just kill them now. March down a bit more south, take out the rest of the things they have. And that's basically their army gone. Um, there's a few things that I don't like about this game, those I'll go um, into detail with a full review, but basically the difficulties. Very hard difficulty is far too easy. Even, I haven't played much on impossible difficulty, but I beat it my first go, so yeah, I fear it might be a little bit too easy. Um, but more into detail with that soon. Um, yeah, I don't like the difficulties, but... Oh well. Right, start training my soldiers down here now. Build them up there so they're closer to light blue. Orange is doing a decent job at attacking light blue, but... In the end, we'll be here all day if we just rely on him, so... Um, yeah, I'll just send my troops down and... Take light blue out myself. Which I do. Orange is doing well against him, but... Just gotta get a move on and win the game. So... Started off as 2v2, now it's 2v1. Um, just I alone can beat him, but on top of that, I also have an ally as well helping me in this battle, so yeah, it's good. I should hopefully win. This, by the way, is my first team battle if you're wondering. Well, Orange's soldiers seem to have glitched out there. No, I, th I think they were just pausing and waiting for reinforcements. I think I trained some, yeah, I get some Cossack mercenaries here, get them out mostly to defend, if you can see on the minimap they have some incoming Hussars for me, so it's more just used as a defence really, try and outmaneuver the, the enemy. Need more priests, always good to keep your soldiers healed. Some battles they are useless in, um, they might only keep one soldier alive, but generally I do like them, because every soldier counts in the end. Yeah, I just completely slaughtered them there. This this battle is going to be no problem. So I found another formation. Um, yeah, that that provides an extra two attack bonuses and an extra three defense. Um, I should actually do a video on how Cossacks actually works with its attack and defence, um, like a video in which I go in depth of all the different stuff. Yeah, I'll probably do that someday actually. Um, that'll be possibly in about a couple of days, maybe a week time, don't really know yet. Right now I've just got so many video ideas coming through into my head, also trying to expand them to other games as well. I've got... Ooh, 
I love that for mind split. I have a Civilization 3 series coming out very soon now. Um, basically, I wanted to just record it all in bulk and then edit it all out and then just upload one Civilization 3 video a day just to save me the effort, basically. And Orange making a decent push into light blue territory and never mind, he's dead. Oh, no, maybe not. It, se it seemed to have been holding out there, but I had to send my soldiers in now deal with these cavalry as well. Yeah, I'm also going to start um, Cossacks 3 Top 5 videos in which I go through the Top 5 nations, Top 5 buildings by how they look, Top 5 changes, um, Bottom 5 as well, things like that, and um, just different battles like cannons versus howitzers or pikemen versus another type of pikemen, something like that. Just to try and experiment with the game, see how it all goes. And, ooh, oh, yeah, I remember recording that. That mine took out about 20 of my pipe from there. But it just shows how well I was doing. Even with that loss of 20 pipe, when I still end up winning in the end, as you can. Uh, it's not really a spoiler alert. You can probably tell that I'm going to win this. I'm already just raiding their village. Got that healing thing, so any damage done does just heal itself almost automatically now. Orange is still coming in with more soldiers. They have a group of priests down there, which um, took me quite a while to get to, but I did do it eventually. Yeah, that's light blue gone now. The rest of the video is just me finishing off, clearing up the mess, basically. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying Cossack 3. I know it's had a very buggy and glitchy start, but, but they've been working on it. They've done a good job at fixing most of it, there's still some fixes that need to be made, um, still some problems that I'm noticing that will all be in my review in a couple of days, so subscribe so that you can check that review out if you want to of course. Um, Civilization 3 series coming in and um, that pikeman's now getting nowhere there, all the other priests just keep healing each other. And now my priests are stuck there. Hey reinforcements. Yep, yeah, so Hope you enjoyed this video and I've won, I do one final tour of the map. Subscribe for more Cross X3 videos and other games, it does really help. Um, like this video if you have, and good bye.